But it's been an exceptionally mild winter. We've only had five inches of snow, none in January to speak of 12 degrees above average, December four degrees above normal. Usually we would have seen at least a foot of snow by now. Jet stream is beginning to shift a little farther south, but overall winters have been trending milder during this past decade, which is the warmest on record in Ohio, reflected in global trends monitored by Ohio State climate scientists. The last decade has been the warmest decade on record. We have a salvage mission to try to get these records before the glaciers disappear. Ohio State's Dr. Lonnie Thompson recently climbed to an elevation of more than 20,000 feet in the high Andes of Peru above the fires of the Amazon basin with his OSU team to retrieve ice cores that show how fast our climate is changing. Here at Ohio State's Bird Polar and Climate Research Institute, we have an ice lab where temperatures are 30 below zero. And this is where a record of our climate goes back 800,000 years, all stored in these ice cores. Even small differences in temperature and rainfall can be measured in the chemistry of ancient air bubbles trapped in the ice. We look at microbes, bacteria, viruses, everything gets archived in the ice. Lake Erie is normally covered in mountains of ice by the middle of January, but this month is wide open and rising water levels are causing beaches to erode and homes to collapse along shorelines. And this is by far the highest water levels we've seen and is something new that, that we're trying to deal with. More frequent, really heavy rain events leading to high water levels in the Great Lakes. Lake Erie drains all of the Great Lakes, which magnifies the impacts, say Ohio State researchers who closely monitor water levels and rising toxic algal blooms in the summer. Ohio farmers are hoping for a drier start to this year's planting season, but we've already had four heavy rain events just since Christmas here in the middle of winter. Local for you, I'm meteorologist Ben Gelber, NBC4.